Hang on. You know what? I want to test something. What would happen? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Even better. We got an oncoming car. I want to see if it happens if we run into this something or if anything happens. Charge! Super Raptor here, and welcome to a game called Lake. So, it's kind of prime week. I'm working 60 hours this week, so I'm gonna lie, I want to get a video out and uh, just want to kind of relax because, you know, it's gonna be a long week for me. So, let's go, go ahead, start a new game. Uh, okay. A program designed to help organize your life uh, is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. But I'm glad we made the deadline. And I'm glad I can now spend two stress free weeks in good old Providence Oaks. Uh, okay, is this a, uh, I guess, an email or a letter she's writing? Hello? Steve, I uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh... Uh, wait. I'll tell you all yeah, about that, it at work tomorrow morning. That <laughs> sounds yeah, like a hell of a time, I guess. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. But, uh, but do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay. okay. Right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I'll talk to you soon. All right. <laughs> uh, all right. Providence, Providence so Oaks, Oregon, 1986. Mr. Coleman, please just call me Frank. Huh. We're colleagues Year before now, I was after born. All. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All, All right. right, then. Get ready to roll. So... All right, nice. I guess that's why they call it lake. It's literally around a lake. This lake, it's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. You know, to be okay, honest, sir, what's the plan? talking about a lake, mail is like man, a I, walk in the I live park. like really With close mailboxes. to a river these days. I really ought to go down there and a lot more. Get out. All right. Uh, oh, um, need to exit the truck. All right. Yeah, I kind of figured. Uh, mailbox. Mail? Wait. Oh. Uh, right there. All right, there we go. It's delivered some mail. Okay, shift does give you a little more pep in your step, but not by much. There. Nothing too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah, I left here from Dang. Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm. Um, uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. 
It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Let's see. This is 103. I have no idea what road this is, but uh, I'm just assuming it's just going to automatically. Okay. 103 High Street. All right. Uh, it's the only one in there, so. That's lighter than I thought. Well, some packages are light. Um, I was going to say, typically you deliver that to the front. I mean, you know, th this isn't Amazon, so you can't exactly get it ran around the back. Or, as I tend to have an issue with here lately, getting delivered to the wrong address. Nope. No answer. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's hop on in. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Yeah. Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, yeah, well it depends probably. on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Yep. Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. That said, uh, 1986. I was you were say that. I'll bug you about it another time. <laughs> Our next address is right around the corner. Uh, there are programs around for a lot of that kind of stuff, but man, back then, dude, you're doing a lot of the work yourself. Ah, there's no place. A lot like of programming. Home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. <laughs> Okay, well. Yeah. I guess this is where we're staying, huh? Alright. Uh, okay. Parents' house, got it. Wise residence, Monday afternoon. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again. Hot too. and humid? Oh, 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 one more thing. The freezer stuffed with food. Don't wrong. And I like Florida, but man, it is Bye. hot and humid down there. Meredith, it's Steve. Not to mention I didn't get the, uh, to earlier, the sun's intensity. So much for being a trooper. It's not my thing. I, know you had other plans for Labor I like the place, weekend, but man, but I, I can't the handle the heat down there. 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Hey. Well. Okay. Tuesday, September 2nd. Good morning, morning time. Meredith. Ready for your first day? Uh. Let's see. I guess. Good morning. Uh. Good, okay. Yeah, sure. Ready Good to rock. Morning, Frank. Let's do it. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so okay. you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Mm -hmm. There's a map in the cabin in case you get lost. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to need that. <laughs> Thanks. I'll probably need that. Bon voyage. All right. Uh... Walk to the mail truck cabin. Oh, okay. All right, so it's actually there. I don't have to actually go get a map. So back then, yes, you would have to basically get a map. A paper map. All right. So, it looks like we've already got... You know what? I don't care. I'm GTA in this. <laughs> I'll park wherever I want. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um... Letters one bear creek, uh, 102 lake drive or road, I mean, uh, 103 main street, and then parcels, uh, 200, 300, and 500 lake road. So, lake road is going to be a lot of it, and then 207 main street. Okay, um, Let's see, I guess the general store there is 
where I'm going. Okay, and this is Main Street, so this would be a parcel. So let's open this baby up. Okay. 207 Main. Uh, oh, right. Take a snag at, baby. Go on into the general store. What's up? Just can I help you? Hello. Here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago. Back Dang. when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. Um. You know what? Sure, we'll make some you more do? friendly conversation. It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. I, uh, I feel like she's today. probably made it, but it's been um, a lot lately. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well. It's what we choose to be. Yes, let's uh keep rolling in. It's one down. Hang on. You know what? I want to test something. What would happen? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Even better. We got an oncoming car. I want to see if it happens if we run into this something or if anything happens. Charge! <laughs> okay. So nothing. All right. Well, accidents are apparently now a thing in here. <laughs> I had to test it out for science, though, all right? Uh, okay, so, uh, looks like this is the next one. 103 Main. I remember this as the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Yep, well. McGill, all right. So, let's see here. Which way should we go first? I feel like we should probably hang a left and just hit all the other ones all at the same time. So we need to actually hang a left. I'm actually enjoying this. Hey. And there stands Diner. There what, we go. Uh, uh, I guess so. What are we at? 500 Lake Road. All right. I think that was, uh, yeah, I was pretty sure it was a parcel. Actually, I can tell on the mini map there, duh, I'm dumb. All right. Yep, let's roll on in here. Meredith Wise? As I live oh, and breathe. Hey. Okay. Here, huh? Now, let me look at you. <laughs> my, oh my, a few lines here and there, and the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right? <laughs> uh, sure. Um, long time wow. no see. Maureen, long time Been no see. Been gone 22 years, huh? I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. Um, sure, quick drink. Okay, one quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? Little bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News well, goes around it, pretty quickly. It's kind of one of those things. So, I, I mean, I'm delivering coffee, the mail right now, so. Stronger. I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. Uh. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Yeah. It's like I'm 17 again, Maureen. Sure, we're gonna drink and, and drive case, if that's the case. You're welcome, honey. <laughs> Two coffee coming right up. And oh. one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You oh, come on. Well, she said something stronger. I thought she was talking about a drink. After school at one point. Mm. Uh, oh, I guess. You know me too well, Maureen. I wasn't actually paying attention. Always have, always will. Ashley, 
one blueberry pie. And Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. You're a real trooper. I feel like Ashley, Ashley? is uh, cussing oh, you out in there. Mary, what are you doing? Oh, is everything okay, hon? Does it sound okay? Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> um yeah it, it definitely didn't sound good um yeah go go check it out get your ass in there maybe you should check that out honestly first the roof and now this oh that poor kid is like a disaster magnet i'm sorry meredith looks like i've got my hands full for a bit next time i want to hear everything you hear uh, don't be a stranger now all right well we'll see about that yeah, all right yeah, i guess i'm uh just automatically outside all right well i guess uh we got pretty much those few spots left and then uh we're done for the day all right uh let's see which one we deliver it to looks like this one all right Yeah, pop this on in here. All right, well, here's that one done. Yeah, right, and then I'm guessing this house here. We gotta take a package. What are we on Lake Road? What address is this? I think there was multiple. On it. This one is 200. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's a um, it's a teddy bear. Almost looks like it's covered in well, paper mache. Hello there, big cuddly guy. All right. Well. Hey, look at cat. I wonder if I can get that truck in here. Oh, there's three cats. Oh, okay, we're at the crazy cat lady's house. We are officially at the crazy cat lady's house. Oh, look, Genevieve. Yep, yep definitely one. crazy cat lady. Hello there. What's your name then? Uh. Let's see. I guess. Miss I guess Jenkins, I, we remember right? Miss Jenkins. I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. Um... Right, I guess. 22 years um, to be exact, but who's <laughs> counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieve's ago. Right. Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but shh. You do right. remember Yeah, we know me, how this works. You? Uh, I just, I just said called you Miss Jenkins. <laughs> of course, you're the cat lady. You know what? We're saying it. Of course. You're the cat lady, and uh, you've got more cats than ever. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like <laughs> Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yeah. There you go. Yes, ma'am. I think it's a toy bear. I mean, it's shaped like one and feels plushy. Someone must think you need another animal in your life. Hmm, bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? I, I mean, it's Frank literally shaped like that. The packages. It, I, I don't even need to. You can you can look at it. <laughs> Whatever. You I know apologize. what? I didn't mean to pry, Miss Jenkins. Hmm. 
Well, it's probably another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. <laughs> Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Kind of a crabby old cat lady, too. All right. <laughs> uh, but who knew parking in the road is going to cause an accident? <laughs> Uh, all right, well, a little bit more to get yet. In a few days, I won't even need that map. Uh, we'll see about that. All right, looks like we're at a gas station now, so, yep, 300 Lake. All right, that last parcel on out of here. Yoink. That's lighter than I thought. Alright. I guess this is the person running the station here. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. No, I'm not. Uh. I'm yeah, Meredith sure. Weiss. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. And Frank just gave you the keys to the goose? Mm -hmm. The goose? Yes, your white and bobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. Okay. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Gotcha. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't, yeah, well, sure. Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. Okay. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. And I have to get back to work now. But right. I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. Uh -huh. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? I mean, yeah, that's fine. If you're the old, you're the mechanic in town. I mean, this place doesn't look very big. Do I got many choices, you know? <laughs> All right. All right, I promise. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Uh -huh. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Uh... Alright. Okay, thanks, Lori. You say so. No problem, Miss W. Usually that's not something that's that difficult to fix, but alright. Okay. Dang, this place is, uh... Well, a little bit off the grid here. Oh, right. Bear Creek, near uh, the old lumber yard. Hey. Right. And... There we go. Perfect stop. <laughs> Let's see here. There's uh, a new face. Oh. Okay. Right, um... Yes, indeed. I guess, As of today, right. I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. All right. And here's your mail. Thanks. I better open this right away. Was it really important? Uh, what the? Uh huh. That doesn't sound good. Crap. That's no, what it doesn't. It sounds like bull crap. Freshly baked bull crap. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. All right. Well, apparently it wasn't good news. All right. So return to the post office. Got it. And we back at the post office. All right. 
There we go. That's a good park job. <laughs> uh, okay. Why is residents Tuesday evening? Hello. Hi, Meredith. It's mom. How are you? How's the job? I mean, it's uh, yeah, it's Hi, it's mom. good, I guess. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. Well, I mean, uh... <laughs> I can it, imagine that. How is Dad? I mean, he did it every day freedom? for a long time, uh, yeah. Don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. <laughs> I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Oh man, pay phones. Yeah. It's been a while since I've seen one of them. <laughs> uh, let's see. Say I'm going to watch TV or stay home and read a book. Um, wait, agenda? Oh. Okay, um, we got an agenda, I guess. All right, well, this is not, nothing really to do. Hey, let's watch some TV. Hmm, let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen, unpacking the new tableware. Henri! Uh. Did someone call me? <laughs> Okay. Right. Hey. Right. Well, anyways, guys, I think I'm going to leave this one right here. So, if anyways, if you like the video, be sure to pounce on that like button, and if you haven't already, join the pipe by subscribing below. Have a good day, everyone.